So hello everyone, today is a new video, I'm gonna show you how to transfer your save data from Nintendo Network to your Pretendo Network account. Since a lot of people have been wondering how you can do it, I'm gonna show you very quickly how to do that. So you will need a Wii U that is homebrewed, that is running either Tiramisu or Aroma. I think you can do it with CBHC but it's very outdated. So, to start with this tutorial, you will need an SD card with at least 4GB. I mean, if you already on your Wii U, you know that you are probably using a 4GB or more. Uh, and you will need access to the internet to download thing. You can download it from the internet on your computer, but I recommend doing that directly from the Wii U. So, you will open the Homebrew Launcher or just open Homebrew App Store. So, on, I'm on Aroma, so it's just right there. When it's open, you're gonna go over the, the search bar and type save like that, save me. And you're gonna download the first one called save me mod wood port. So just download it. After that, you just quit the app. Go back to the Wii U menu or the Humble Launcher. It depends on what firmware and uh, custom firmware you are running. When it's done, open the new armbrew, so depend on what custom firmware you are. Again, where is it? Right there on our room, it should look like that, we have like a disk icon. Open it. Should take a bit of time. It should load all your Wii U and Wii title. When when I speak about the Wii, I mean like the, the virtual Wii menu. There is like save data and shit. So you choose Wii U save management. And all the like games that are in green mean there is save data for them. And all them that are not uh, in green, like for example they are in yellow. I mean you never started the game or never made the save file and if they are in red I think there is red it means like you should not like edit the save data or modify it if you know what I mean so for example what I'm gonna do is today I'm gonna do it with the Taikon Tatsuji in Wii U version so there is a lot of option I recommend you going for the backup save data option select the slot the slot will be like oh it's gonna be uh, inside your SD card really don't matter if you are just copying to another user so I recommend using this the slot zero and after that you will need to select the Wii U user so this is important for example me the first one this one is actually my pretend on network account so I'm not gonna copy it from here I'm gonna copy it from this one so it says it's empty so there is no save data I don't know why sometimes it's a bit glitchy so I'm just gonna do another game but for example I'm gonna do Wind Waker HD this one there is a slot already so I'm gonna do slot 2 and as you can see there is a save from this user which is my Nintendo network account and this one which is my Pretendo network account so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the opposite of what I'm trying to do I'm gonna copy it right there see it's copying the save data to the SD card can take a lot, a lot of time depending on the game when you're done just go over restore save data select your slot so for example mine is slot 2 you go over the user to copy from so it depends if you choose all user or whatever and select the user you want to copy to so I'm gonna copy it to my Nintendo network account you know you know uh, because I have a better save on my Nintendo network account and basically when everything is done you should be able to start the game with your save data from your Nintendo Network or Pretendo Network account. Uh, so I hope this tutorial was helpful. Uh, if you have any issues just DM me on Discord or in the comments I'll try to answer quickly.